Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. That's it. Pencils down. Time is up, gentlemen. The free-for-all is at an end. Thanks to everybody who's participated. I've really enjoyed watching your scores come in, especially those of you who've actually been improving your scores during the course of the competition. That was a whole lot of fun to watch that little mini competition evolve there, especially around the number one spot, and to see a lot of you just working diligently to try and improve your own personal score, even if it didn't mean you were going to get the number one spot. Oh, but uh, speaking of actually improving your own time, I've got to thank Congo and Dot Brian for both sending me separate tutorials that helped me to actually improve my time earlier today. Shaved a couple of tenths of a second off, much to the chagrin of Light Jimmy, but I did manage to do that and was really happy. So thank you to Congo for the illustrated screenshot and description that he sent me, and thank you to Brian for the live stream in which he revealed a few of his little tricky tricks that helped me to eventually improve my own time. But you guys aren't here to hear me ramble on about how great I am and how good my score was. You're here for the results of the Stealth Bastard free-for-all contest. So let's start at the top. The grand potentate of Stealth Bastard, the winner of the free-for-all, Congo. Despite a great challenge by Dot Brian in the last week of the contest, Congo retains, he takes it. It looked pretty iffy there for a minute. Brian did unseat Congo for a moment, but the two traded back and forth and eventually Congo came out on top. It is about 10 minutes after midnight right now, so I am confident in saying that our winner is, in fact, Congo. The top three breaks down like this. Number one, Congo. Number two, Dot Brian. And number three, Light Jimmy. Yes, Light Jimmy. Way to go, guy. Getting in there with the third place spot. You will see the rest of the results, one through nine, appearing on your screen right now. So with those official standings out of the way, the next thing you might be thinking about is, hey, prizes, right? There's supposed to be some. Well, if you'll remember, the free-for-all started out with a single prize, just a copy of Stealth Bastard Deluxe. Soon I decided to add prizes for second and third place, and I added two humble THQ bundles. Now, if you watched the live stream the other day, you'll already be aware that I was so impressed with the participation, with the submissions that I was getting, and the fact that the contest was going so well that I declared that everybody gets a prize, Oprah style. Except for you guys don't get cars, you all get just like cheap games that are lying around in my Steam library, but hey, it's something, right? So here's how it's gonna work. I am going to send the prize pool to Congo via email, he's gonna pick a prize. Then I'm gonna send the remaining prize pool to Brian, he's gonna pick a prize. Then I'm gonna send it to, that's right, Jimmy, and he's gonna pick a prize, and so forth and so on, until everybody's got a prize. Now you may be asking, what's the prize pool look like? Well, in addition to the three things already mentioned, Stealth Bastard Deluxe and two Humble THQ bundles, we also have two Humble Indie Bundle 7s. That's going to include Snapshot, The Binding of Isaac with its DLC, Great Game, Closure, Indie Game the Movie, Shank 2, Legend of Grimrock, and Dungeon Defenders with its DLC and all the soundtracks to those games. Amazing. Nothing short of amazing. Two of those. And then we will also have a copy of Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine, one of my favorite games of 2011. That also comes with its Dreadnought DLC. And we're going to have a copy of Stalker Shadows of Chernobyl. Now we're going to have more prizes, but this is what I've got on hand right now that I know and I didn't really write everything down. But the rest of the prizes will be filled out by smaller indie games. Probably throw a copy of Super Hexagon in there, something like that. You know, it'll be smaller games for those who finished in the lower part of the rankings. But everybody gets something as a special thank you from me. 
So thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for making this free for all one of the best contests I've run on the channel to date. I'm a small channel. I am not really trying to get YouTube famous, but I love it when people actually notice what I do and actually participate. So thanks again to everybody. I am going to do another Stealth Bastard free for all. It's probably going to be two or three months, but I'm going to try to do another one because this one was so great. I'm also going to do another general free for all. If you have any suggestions of free free games that sort of revolve around a high score challenge or a time-based challenge like Stealth Bastard, please let me know in the comments below. Thanks again, guys. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.